complete new playlist. In this playlist, we'll be talking about lists and how we manage data in lists. So let's jump into our Rhino and our super screen. So what we're going to talk about this in this playlist are, is going to be all about lists and how we take data, how we use data in lists, how we separate, like a lot of the things related to lists. Let's start with something super basic. So I'll go to my top view and I'll just go to my vector tab under grid tab. I'll just grab a populate 2D and then I'll draw a rectangle. I can just right click to it, set one rectangle, zero, and put this rectangle in. Now, as you know, I have how many points here? I have 100 points because this is 100. So I can say 150 just to put this in and see this the as you know like the number that we change the locations of the points because they're randomly distributed here and if you have existing points if you want to add here then what we are going to do next is basically going on to the list menu so if i go to sets under list there might be some components that you don't see in your canvas if you follow this tutorial However, I do have those different components coming from different plugins. So if you don't see them, no worries. You're not going to use any of these in this playlist. So the first and very, uh, or the most popular one is list item. So list item is basically taking a list as an information input. And the index, you may remember this from the previous playlist, the location of that item in that list and the wrap is wrap index to list bounds true false it's basically uh something if you want to have the list to go back to the beginning if we exceed the limit for it so i'll be talking about each and every of them so when i connect this to here what i'm seeing is when i click on here you see this point comes on to select it. So what we can do here is basically we can say, we can put a um, preview and then we can say dot display, put this dot here, color, we can put a swatch here, and then connect that as a color, and size maybe 250, it might be too big, it might be too small, too big this case. So we know what this does. So this is basically how we, uh, what's one thing we can really do is to make it a bit like translucent. So as I said, index is the key here, but also we can change that. It's now zero. If I put 121, what I'm seeing is it shows me the item 121. You see, when I change this, it's being changed. What happens if I go over 150? You see, it comes back to here. But if I make this toggle, I put a toggle and make this false. And if I make this, oops, make this false, you see, it will say supplied index too high because it doesn't, it's not wrapping the list going back to the beginning. So if I put this 149, because remember 149 is the number location of the point that is stored in 150. 150 points starting from zero that counts. Or if I put out panel here, you would see that 149. So this basically does that. Uh, however, also we can see if you create a point list and if you put the size, let's say 10 and if I preview this off, you see what I'm seeing here is basically all the point numbers. So if you want to select 11, you go and select 11 and your point goes to 11. You can preview this off, obviously, and 
you can maybe preview this on but if you want to define these with another kind of point uh, scheme what we can do here is dot display let me get us some space here put this here pulling out the swatch and that swatch might be this swatch might be white okay and the translucent one and we can say tag this Preview this all off and now we see our points of course now what we can say is okay now we want it to be reddish so you see like based on this kind of uh, an information like based on this uh, setup we can select the number 11 and if we say true to this or let's say 150 you see it doesn't put anything here since we are not wrapping it we're wrapping the list but if i double click and make this true then it will select this one because it goes back to the beginning okay so that is um that is pretty much from this video uh we covered the list item here and you can see the hit point clouds and everything so here maybe i go back and switch it back a bit for views so yeah so we see this here in this very first tutorial and in the next one we'll talk about the lengths list length let's say